Hello. Hello. So. Show me. Well, what's what? Okay, I see a speaker. A makeup brush. A makeup brush. Covered in watered down all purpose glue. Okay. And toilet paper. And a would be speaker. After consulting Library O YouTube, I am using the glue paintbrush toilet paper paper towel connection to hopefully stitch together this broken membrane. The thing that is not in Library O YouTube is a membrane that is basically cracked for most of the entirety of the speaker. Do you think you're going to have to do multiple layers? Multiple layers, yes. Okay. So I'm doing the back first because it's the back where it's not going to be seen. Right. I'm going to have to do this several times here to get it to basically create another little membrane there. And then I let that dry and I do the front and the front has to be with very, very, very little ones to try and get a seam so that it doesn't actually go on this plastic part of the membrane, mm -hmm. but on this part only. And then we will paint it black. Okay. Or we could actually make the speaker grill that those things are supposed to have. There's that too. Okay. Like put a stocking over it. So why are we doing this? We are doing this because the speaker stand knocked over. It really liked cliff diving. Um, there's a nice chunk out of that corner. Yeah. And there's a corresponding chunk out of the carpet where it landed. It is this big line right there. It's a I, nice divot. I have a feeling that's not going to come out in the... Okay. Well, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> um, this was the speaker stand that it was on. Right. The whole thing came a tumbling down. I was roughly there and went, ah, 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 ah. something like that, like I usually do. Um, I'll go over there. All right. What happens if this doesn't work? We can try and replace the speaker drum. But we also have a spare, but it's from my personal collection. We would literally be replacing this with my personal monitors, which I'm not. Yeah. Entirely too happy with. Not super keen on. So we're so. gonna see if this works. I'm I am experimentally optimistic in that we're not gonna be worse off if right. this doesn't work. Because it sounded all flappy and ugly. Like Just play powder. some music and go <laughs> while it's happening, and that's basically what the speaker sounded like. Yeah. Um contrabassoon kind of. Someone told me though that it, when I was in youth orchestra so the sound of a contrabassoon is literally sticking your finger in your ears completely and going and you do it and then you like actually hear someone next to you like like extrude a note on the contrabassoon and you have to extrude that note i mean it is like thick like molasses i'm not even going to give apologies to all bassoonists because i'm a violist and i mean we are we are uh, uh hamish the, the the two of us uh, um, you're speaking from jokes. you're speaking from several several different cultures, none of which I know much about. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, keep. I'll keep painting. Keep doing the thing. I'm okay with the way it's working, but I wouldn't mind it. Then I get more used to it. That doesn't explain any of us. What would be the um the benefit of me? I mean, then it's just like the one that's the the uh, main user one. Yeah, it's the one that's Paul. It's yeah. the one that's Paul's using. It's a little bit more. Um, yes. Um, you can maintain it because I noticed there are 300 packages back on that one. Not updated since 
mountain, I think. So Becky asked me about 50 times if I wanted to turn on the camera and insisted that... Uh, Turns out I wanted him to turn on the camera. Yeah. So uh, what are you doing here other than making me a little dizzy? I am making a grid for the studio, the station schedule. So this is going to be each hour of the day. And what I'm doing is stringing this horrible safety orange yarn across these, uh, uh, what's it called? Thumbtacks that are spaced out at three and a half inches apart. Okay. I suppose that we should talk about where we got the incredible safety orange yarn. Yes. Was it because we got vaccinated? Right? Didn't we present a vax card to get a free roll of yarn, of 70s yarn? Yeah. And where was that? That was at Tinkertopia, our favorite... Tinkertopia? Tinkertopia! Sharon. Tinkertopia. Tinkertopia. Yeah. Our favorite creative reuse center. There you go. Um, I'm using the very, very safe um, step ladder called Cinder Block. And what? these Cinder Blocks are actually high over here now. Oh no, I forget how wide this camera is. You're still in shop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the Cinder Blocks are actually for stacking the speakers on so that we don't have another timber moment. Yeah. I, I found the, the lightweight wooden speaker stands unsafe, so we are going with a lighter weight material known as cinder block. <laughs> that one's a little derpy there. Thank you. Okay. Wow, you're really chewing on this screw here. Can I have mine? Uh, can you... Tell me what you wear. Right oh, the blue one? Blue one, yeah. This screwdriver is too small. Disturbing. Cover your ears. Okay. I really... Yeah, no, I, I know, I know. Yeah. We are... Alert. Looping color song. Looping color song. Alert. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> You didn't screw it on! I did screw it on! Where are the screws? They've stripped all the way through. I screwed it in, I promise! <laughs> the right screws? Yes! I No, they're not! They're really not! No? No! Turn off the amp, would you? I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> should I have? I think you should have made new holes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were these, did I have such a hard time screwing the thing on the back because the back should have used these screws? Probably. Probably. Okay. All right. That was but nice. now you've created. Now I've created two big holes on that side. Holes that are too big. That's why these felt stripped out, but they felt stripped out when I was uh, unscrewing them anyway. Oh, that was dumb. How many screws are supposed to be there on the One, back? two, uh, two, four, eight. Okay, and there's eight of these. I just mixed up which ones 
were the small screws and which ones were the large screws. Well, how permanent is this? Um, I would swap the screws with the smaller screws in the back, mm -hmm. and then use the bigger screws to create the the new holes. You're probably going to want to drill <sighs> some. Why would I need new holes? Because those are screw. I don't know. They're not stripped with the big ones. Okay. Sorry. Well, at least you got it on video. <laughs> hey, Becky. Yep. Sounded good to me. Yeah, I didn't hear a rattle at all. No. Other than that one. Toast to pop out of it. Alert. Alert. Take me to the flowing solvent. Place me in the liquid. Steep me in the hydrogen monoxide. Cleaning me toward a lower position. Alert. Alert. Both versions. Alert. Alert. Talking heads and Al Green. Alert. Alert. Do ya? Did I and Tina do it also? I think so. They did rolling on the Yeah, I know that. <laughs> um, it, okay, so I, I didn't push it real hard, but we're not going to be doing a lot of blasting around here just because that's not kind of what these things are for. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing any damage on the outside. And if there was crack on the inside or snap on the inside, we'd hear rattle. We yeah, and and it's double layered. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna call this successful. Well done. Thanks. Thanks, YouTube. All right. So this is the basic idea that we're going for here for the monitors going forward. Is uh, what I kind of initially intended. Um, totally picked up this tip from I think DIY Audio, which is. I mean, big heavy cinder blocks make a really good uh, speaker stand, so that's what we're doing here. So the speakers are hopefully functional. Here's what one looks like. Here's what the other one looks like. We were originally going to make the uh, cinder blocks match the the uh, the table, but we decided we liked the primer white better. Kind of brightened it up a little bit. Um, and who knows how the blue paint was actually going to turn out. So we left it there. But there's really only thing left. The only thing left is to test it. So let's do that. Move my speaker wire retrieval device out of the way here. Can't believe that worked. All right, after a couple month break, we've got monitors again. I think this is good. I think we're gonna go with this. Thus endeth the tale of the murderous monitor. 
So Becky's repaired speaker has developed a crackle. 